Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I pulled out all of my most expensive luxury makeup to create a $1,500 face. 1563 to be exact. Now that's quite a hefty price tag when you add up all of the products together. So are they actually worth it? Well, I think so. In fact, these are my favorite high-end pieces. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you why and show you how I achieved this look. So let's begin. Starting with my Dior Dream Skin, this size retails for $150. Now this targets lines, pores, redness, so it's really more of a skincare step, but I love the smooth canvas it creates for makeup application. It's also available in a smaller size that's less expensive, but for how wonderful it makes my skin feel, it's worth the splurge, which is of course a better value. I'm using two primers today since this is a full out luxury look. The Guerlain Lore Radiance Primer retails for $74 and is bar none my favorite primer, full stop. It gives glow, it's super lightweight, and it holds my makeup in place all day long. It's pricey, but worth every penny. Now that my skin is prepped, I'm going to color correct using the YSL Touche Clock Corrector and Chanel CC Cream. At $38 and $55 a pop, these prep steps don't break the bank, but they aren't truly necessary for everyone or every day. Regardless, I love them because they help create a perfect complexion. I end up needing to use less foundation and concealer, which saves time and money. Plus, the CC cream has SPF 50, so it's a great daily sun protector. I usually just spot correct the areas that are uneven. This next one is a doozy. The Chanel Sublimage Foundation retails for $135. It's hydrating, anti-aging, and includes a high-quality brush for application. Besides the skincare benefits of this foundation, the soft finish and beautiful coverage makes this a personal favorite of mine. For more mature skin, it is hands down the best option from Chanel. And even for more youthful skin, it's just a beautiful product. Plus, the jar is a great size, so it will last you a long time. For concealer, I love the Corrector de Chanel for $43. Ever since they reformulated this product, the coverage and finish are perfect. I use this under my eyes and to highlight the center points of my face. It always blends out beautifully and I never have to worry about creasing in my fine lines. The old formula was a bit more matte, whereas this one is a little bit softer, which means it's more forgiving. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Lancome Absolute Powder, which is $58. It's pricey for powder, but this one gives the skin a gorgeous, luminous glow. I love this product so much, I own it in two shades. They're equally stunning. Now, usually I will set only my under eyes with it because a little bit goes a very long way. I don't want to set my entire face because then I'll end up looking like a disco ball. So for the outside areas, I'm going in with my Chanel Loose Powder. This powder retails for $52. It's my go-to on a daily basis. It looks airbrushed, never cakey, it feels very lightweight, and I'm going to use this to set all over the areas that I didn't use the Absolute Powder. To warm up my skin tone, I love the Soleil Tan de Chanel. This cream bronzer retails for $50, which does seem pricey until you consider how long it lasts. I've had this for an embarrassingly long time. I'm not even going to tell you how long. And even then, I use it quite often, not every day, but enough. And I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. For that alone, I believe it's worth the money. But also, it's just an incredibly natural bronzer. Now to set my cream, I'm going to show you my favorite powder bronzer, which is from Guerlain. This retails for $53. It smells like heaven, which isn't something that I look for in a bronzer, but the packaging is stunning. It gives a nice light warmth. It's just beautiful. It has everything that I love. The Guerlain bronzers are cult classics for a good reason. For blush, I'm using Chanel Jersey. I used this recently in a tutorial. This is just the type of blush that looks good with every eyeshadow, every lipstick, skin tone, outfit, you name it. It's very soft, so if you do prefer a more statement-making blush, this isn't it. But if I could keep only one blush, I would take Jersey because it's very versatile and effortless. The Plissé Lumiere de Chanel. This was a limited edition highlighter. It's well loved as you can see. This was released before the current illuminating powders. 
It was $70, so the same price as the new limited edition holiday highlighter that's on its way to stores now. It's my favorite highlighter that I own, and I usually save it for special occasions or for here on YouTube, which is sort of a special occasion for me. It has the perfect flesh tone, so it, it looks like radiant skin. Now that I'm done with the face, it's time for eyes. I'm using the Chanel eyeshadow base. It's a great lid smoother. It helps keep eyes looking vibrant longer. The price is not too bad either at $32. For eyeshadow, I'm using the Tom Ford Eye and Cheek Palette. This retails for $155. I bought this particular version over a year ago, but there are always new versions coming out, exclusives and different blush and eyeshadow combinations. For the price, this is one of the best values on the list of luxury. The blush and highlighter are beautiful. The packaging is so sleek, so luxurious with the magnetic closure, the giant mirror, and the white and gold. I truly don't use this enough. It's easy to create an everyday or smoky eye look, which to me is pretty important, especially for the price. I like to use the blush as an eyeshadow as well. And then I'll go in with the taupe eyeshadow all over the lid. Deepen the crease with that eggplant eyeshadow. It's very easy to come up with a cool combination. So I highly recommend these palettes as they are so convenient for travel too. To top off the look, I'm going in with my new Moon Illusion de Homme from Chanel. I wanted to include this on the list because it's a luxury product that is a must have for me. It's one of my all time favorites and it gives that wow factor. The Nudie Clat Steel Away Contour Stick is a new favorite. It makes highlighting the brow bone and inner corner of the eye such a breeze. Since you can blend it out with your fingers, this is just a great product to have for anybody. To line my inner waterline, I'm using a waterproof eyeliner from Chanel. These are classic. There are always new colors coming out, but be careful of limited edition releases. They go as quickly as they come. But no worries, we have Espresso, Marine, Cassis, so many classics that aren't going anywhere for the foreseeable future. To line my top lash line, I'm using the Signature de Chanel. This is the best black liquid eyeliner I've used in a very, very long time. I've tried several less expensive brands because I thought maybe I'd just find a gem, but none of them really worked out for me. At $35, it gives me a perfect wing every time, so I'm happy and I'll be sticking with this one. To fill in my eyebrows, I've been using the Chanel Eyebrow Pencil. I really like the color and it gives me a more natural look, so I really like it compared to the others that I've used. I rate this one pretty high. At $29, it's really not a bad price point. Anna Sui Brow Gel is a new addition to my brow routine. This was sent to me complimentary to review recently and at only $19 you get a generous tube, it's cute packaging, and it's a great product. So I don't mind taking a little extra time to do my eyebrows. I definitely recommend it. Now for lashes, I wasn't sure what to go with here, but I decided on the Lancome Sills Booster and Hypnose Drama combination. These were also sent to me complimentary from Lancome. At $25.50 and $27.50, they aren't really breaking the bank. They're not the most expensive combination on the market, but $53 together is still pretty pricey. But they work so well. They give me volume, length. I love the curve of the wand and the mascara, so this has been a favorite lash duo of mine recently. For lips, I wanted to go with a vampy fall look, so I'm lining my lips with the Givenchy Universal Noir Lip Liner. I use this lip liner for all of my deeper or darker lipsticks. It's just a great match for pretty much every berry lipstick. You can also create a nice ombre effect if you want. Givenchy sent this to me to review, but at $29, I would definitely buy it again in the future. Tom Ford lipsticks are my guilty pleasure. I almost feel like I am cheating on Chanel every time I buy one, but this Velvet Cherry lipstick has been my favorite dark red for a few years now, and I still love it just as much as the day I bought it. There really is no justifying the price at $55 for a lipstick. But there's just something about Tom Ford lipsticks that changes your mood, makes you feel like queen of your universe. I don't know, maybe it's just the color, but I'm always lusting after a new Tom Ford lipstick to add to my collection. To top it off, I'm using my Dior lip gloss. 
I love this sparkly pink lip gloss. They have the most beautiful shades, beautiful packaging. I love pulling this gloss out of my purse to touch up. And finally, to bring us home to a whopping 1563, the Subomage Face Mist. $200 is probably the most expensive spray on the market, even if it comes with two refilled cartridges. It has anti-aging Subomage skincare, that's true. It smells like heaven, it hydrates, it sets makeup beautifully, it's great for long trips. But yeah, at that price tag, it's steep. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, as much fun as I had creating this look, I must say that this was not all purchased all at once. In fact, three of the products were sent to me. Yes, there is less expensive makeup that works wonderfully. No, I do not suggest that you need all of these products. The luxury makeup is a blast to play around with, but even I'll admit that that final price tag, yeah, that's crazy. So comment below, let me know what your most expensive or your must-have luxury product is. And of course, for more videos, don't forget to subscribe.